You can use assistive touch when recording your screen on your iPhone that will show the cursor for the taps and screen touches. Follow these steps to enable assistive touch and create a tap gesture. Go to the settings on your iPhone. Tap Accessibility. Under Physical and Motor, tap Touch. On the touch screen, tap Assistive Touch. Switch the Assistive Touch toggle to the on position. Once this feature is turned on, it will enable the Assistive Touch shortcut on your iPhone screen. In the next steps, you will learn how to enable the cursor pointer for the tap gesture. On the Assistive Touch screen, tap Customize Top Level Menu. Tap Home. Scroll down. Under Scroll Gestures, select Tap. Now, the tap gesture is added to the home screen of the assistive touch. Tap the assistive touch shortcut on the iPhone screen. It opens the home menu. Touch the tap. A gray button is displayed on the screen. This gray button will move to the location where you touch or tap the screen. When you record your screen on your iPhone with the tap gesture on, It'll record the screen with this gray button pointing to the location of the tap or touch. You can also use the Siri voice commands to turn on assistive touch, if it is not enabled. Hey Siri. Uh-huh. Turn on assistive touch. Okay, assistive touch is now on. You can ask Siri to go to assistive touch settings. Go to Assistive Touch Settings. From here you can follow the same steps that was shown in this video earlier, to enable the cursor for touch gesture. Next you can see the example of how this can be used to show the screen taps or touches while recording. Tap the Assistive Touch shortcut and touch the tap to display the gray button. Now, in this example to show the demo of a shopping app, gray button is displayed on the screen during the navigation of the app wherever the screen is touched or tapped. This will help the users to follow the screen touches in the demo video of any app or iPhone feature. However, when the tap gesture is enabled, you can't scroll through the screen. You have to disable the gray button to scroll. To remove this button, just tap the Assistive Touch shortcut again. After you scroll to the specific content on the screen, enable the tap gesture again to show the screen touches with the gray button in your recording. Now each touch on the screen is recorded and the users can easily follow the navigation steps. This is very useful when you record a demo video of an app or want to walk through the features on your iPhone. If you find this video useful, please share it with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel to get notified when similar useful videos are posted.